Hey, good evening, Amanda. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Tell me, how, how was your weekend? Um, it was uh, really, really, really good. I stayed with my family and I share, I share with them. I, I, I really, I really feel good. Oh, okay. Yes. And what did you do with your family? Um, well, I uh, chair a lunch and on Sunday, uh, we went to prayer, rezar. To pray? Un rosario, no sé cómo se dice. Rosario. Rosary. Rosary, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. On Sunday. On Sunday, yes. Okay. And, and that's all day, one hour, only in the morning? Uh, around half an hour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if it's, it's, uh, the, the case is uh, we went to visit a family that had the virgin. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the, this family prepare a beautiful altar, ¿cómo se, más, ¿cómo se dice? Altar. Altar. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and this family invites a lot of people to come a prayer the rosary. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a tradition for some families that que piden, ¿cómo que se dice? Ask for. Ask for, a, for the virgin, for comes to, comes, comes, comes her to uh, her, their the house. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. And I ate. Tamales. Mm -hmm. Hey, okay. Yes. It's what it's what's very, very good. That's good. It's it's good to spend a little bit of time with your family and do a few things. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really it's it's what's really good. Okay. That's great. Well, and, I'm glad we also about have, you, teacher. Ah, always with the family, working, a lot of activities, many things to do. I, I, I think so. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. I see we have Eric, Lisette, Monica, Angelica, Diana. We are ready to begin. Yes. Okay, yes. guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a moment and just quickly with your partners, you're going to find out about their weekend. We're going to find out what happened, just like me and Amanda, ask some questions and discuss. Vane, we're talking about our weekends in our group.
You said you had a question? Disculpe, teacher. No sabemos qué vamos a hacer. Talk about your weekend. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Hello, Eric. How was it? How was uh, your weekend? I was uh, visited my Okay, everybody's ready, very quick. Only the idea is talk about the weekend. Okay, you ready to continue? Okay, now we need to practice a little bit more the difference between when we use was or were. Remember, was and were no activities, right? It's for description, locations, profession, okay? I was happy yesterday, okay? I was in El Puerto de la Libertad. I went to with actions, okay? All right, let's go ahead and continue. So we are in unit two. This means you should be complete with one, with unit one. We are in unit two, lesson objective. Remember, we are looking at count and non-count. What is the difference between count and non-count? For the noun count, there's only one way to say the word, and it's not to be in plural. Excellent. That's right. That's what we saw on Friday. On Friday was excellent. We saw that count nouns only have one form to write the word, not a plural form. Excellent. That is going to be the big difference. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you... Okay. So... How do we know right there? For example, cars, lines, buses. These are count, have a plural and the singular. Non-count, only one form. For example, traffic, pollution, transportation, parking. No plural forms, so only non-count. What is the difference? The difference is the words that we use. For example, many, are we use with count, much with non-count, fewer count, less non-count. The others are okay, more and more, or we use are or aren't with count nouns and is or isn't with non-count. This is the main idea, okay? So for example here, these are non-counts. Normally, 
these cannot be counted. Those are the non-count words, okay? So how do we have those? Usually it's for the words that are, the words that we have like for food or grains, okay? So let me put in the chat so we remember. So normally non-count, non is normally we have grains, liquids, gases. Grains, what are grains? Grains are cereal, spaghetti, rice, beans, grains. Liquids, soda, juice, water, milk. Gases, or even gasoline, for example. Gases, oxygen, helium, the, these are the things that are non-count. It's okay? Officers in your city? Okay. Is there too so, much pollution? What are we going to do? Now we're going to answer four questions with city. our partners. And as your answer Okay, here we have the questions in the platform. In the platform, we have 2.1, 2.1 in the video. Here we have question number one. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? So now we're going to talk about the problems about the city, okay? So what are the problems in the city? Ah, in my city, in Santa Tecla, I live in Santa Tecla, there is too much noise. Always the noise is very loud with the buses and the traffic. Oh, what is the solution? The solution is we need to have more police, inspect, more come, check the bars the buses or the transportation, okay? So with our partners, we're going to look for the problems in our city, and we're going to give the solutions. So two things, one, the problem, and to the solution. It's okay or no? I have a question. Yes, Diana. It will be with the questions of the video or it's free, a free problem. You can have any problem. For example, in the video, we have some problems like this. Oh, there are too many cars or there is too much traffic, maybe in your city. So what is the solution? Ah, the solution is to have less cars or fewer cars, right? This is where we use the count or non-count correctly. Or to have more police to check the cars. So you and your partner identify the different problems, so cars, pollution, noise, garbage, the, the dirty, whatever, and give the solutions. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So the question you begin to ask your partners, okay, are, what are the problems in your city? This is the first question. And then your partner tell you the problem and then the solutions. Okay, any questions? No? No, teacher. No, no, nadie tiene que saber cómo se dice que tiran la basura en la calle y los chuchos se la comen. No, no, no hay ningún problema, no hay ningún problema. Okay. Okay. 
Then let's start one more time. Hang on, hang on. Let's make the rooms. One more, something happened. Let's try one more time. Okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. Richard, yo no tengo grupo. What, Amanda? No tengo grupo, déjeme ver. Sí, ya me conecto aquí con Mónica. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero ahora regreso con usted, no sé qué pasará. Ok, let's, let's try one more time. Ok, there. Hey, Vane, what happened? Oh. 
hola teacher, perdón que ingreso hasta esta hora, pero es que no me dejaba ingresar la plataforma. Ah, ok, Vane. No problem. In this moment, we are in 2.1. We are discussing the problems and solutions in your city. Okay. The what is what are the problems in your city with your partners? Okay, so what are some of the problems in your city? There are too many public transport. Ah, there are too many buses. Buses. Good, there are too many buses. Good, Mario. And what is the solution, Mario? Uh, to give maintenance the public transportation or the bus. Okay, excellent. Super easy. One problem, one solution. That's it. Very good. Mario, select the next person. Eric. Eric, all right. Eric, what is one problem and one solution? Um, one problem. Um, the play. They play uh, music high volume. Ah, high volume is remember too loud, too loud. Okay. A solution. Um, more police. Uh, no sé cómo, cómo se diría, o sea, que, que la policía, que les prohíba, no sé. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, how do you say? Tú. Um, 
to prohibit. Prohibit. Okay. Eric, what is the solution? The police prohibit. Prohibit, good. Prohibit loud noise. Loud, loud noise. music. Okay. Okay, good, Eric. Select the next person, Eric. Diana Vasquez. Diana Vasquez. Okay, Diana. Give me one problem and one solution. The problem is very damaged streets. And the solution is to keep maintenance to the street. Simple. That's it. And that's when we use countable, uncountable. Okay. We can use two, very, fewer, less. Okay. We use many is very common to use to describe things. Now with our partners, we continue. We now continue to 2.2, the knowledge check 2.2. We're going to select which is non-count, which is a count, which is the correct option, okay? We have five questions with our partner. So we have five minutes. With our partner, we have five minutes to answer the five questions in exercise 2.2.
Okay, let's see how you did. Let's check the answers together to make sure it's okay. Number one, which of the following options is not a count noun? Parking. Parking. Yes. Okay, good. Number two, what are some examples of non-count? What are three examples of non-count? Water, water, food, air. Okay. Good. Number three, what are examples of count nouns? Text, Desk, camera, camera, and book. 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 Okay. Desk, camera, book. Okay. And why do buses cause too much pollution? The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. Ooh, like it's Salvador, right? <laughs> and why is there too much traffic? Because, because there are too many cars. Okay. Excellent. You see, all of those answers are correct. Very good. You have all of those correct answers. Okay. Now we're going to look at the idea of using those countable and uncountable. How to express them here, for example, we have, we already learned there are too many, there should be. Now we're going to learn how to express. Hi, everyone. By the, the end of this class, you'll be able to express. Okay. We describe many problems in the neighborhood. Too much noise, too much traffic. All of these are the different things. So what can we use? We, we use words, for example, should or need. Okay. We can use if there are, there are too many cars. Ah, what is the solution? There should be fewer cars. There should be more police officers. We need more motorcycles, for example, okay? We are going to use, there are too many or too much if it's non-count or count, depend the problem, okay? So there, as you can see, to describe the problem, and then we use the verbs. Also, what is the solution? Ah, the solution we describe, there should be, we should have, okay? So what is the solution? Ah, we should have more police officer. There should be less buses. There should be more pedestrians. There should be more bicycles, okay? This is where we talk about between should and need. We can use should or need to describe the solutions. Are you ready to practice? So as an example, with the partner, now I give the problem and my partner give the solution, okay? Okay, so as an example, there are too many cars or maybe, okay, there, there isn't, we're going to use isn't, there isn't, Okay, enough, there isn't enough parking. I live in Santa Tecla and in Santa Tecla, there, is, there isn't enough parking. Ah, what is the solution, partner? Partner, what is the solution? My partner says, ah, okay. We should have more parking, okay or there should be, okay, fewer cars. Or we can say, you should walk to work, for example. Any questions? No, remember, no, no problem, my partner, the solution.
problem, my partner, the solution. 2.4, what is the solution? Uh, there should be, we need more. These are the solutions we can use. We can use different solutions, okay? We have the problems. There are, okay, there are too many cars. Ah, so my partner is going to give me the solution to the different problems. For example, using the word should or using the word need, right? For example, we can use one more time like that, okay? Or like this, we need. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's practice speaking then. Monica, what happened? Monica, what happened?
Okay. Diana, select the next person. Mario. Marlon. Mario. Ah, Mario. Okay. Mario Barahona. Hi. Okay, Mario. Tell us the tell us the problem. Uh, there are too many public transportation. No, Which... not too many. Too many, no? No. Mario, so what is the correct? Estoy dando el problema. Yes, 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 yeah. but it's not correct. Not too many. Remember, too many is for countable. Countable. What do buses. you say? Huh? Buses. Correct. There are too many buses. Okay. Remember, there is okay. Okay. too there much. There are too many buses. Okay. Correct. Or there is too much public transportation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, Mario. Mario, select the person. Marlon. Marlon. Okay, Marlon, what is the solution? The solution of the problem of Mario or? Yes, uh, the solution, the problem of Mario. I, sorry, I no pude escuchar lo que dijo. Me lo podrías repetir, por favor. No, in English, in English, no in Spanish. Spanish you in can... the house, yeah. No, 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 in English. Ask Mario in English. Mario, you can uh, say the problem. Uh, there are too many buses. Uh, okay, the solution is that you... Uh, you buy a car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for the traffic, oh, but okay. We shall okay. have a software train. Yes. Uh, mm. uh -huh. Buy a bicycle. <laughs> okay. Good. Very good, Marlon. Remember, it's good to use. Your answer is correct. Remember, try to use recommendations. Recommendations, we use should. You should buy a car, right? Okay. Excellent. All right, Marlon. Select the next person, Marlon. Um, Vanessa Ramirez. Okay, Vanessa Ramirez. What is the problem? Um, the problem is in my neighborhood, there are not garbage cans. Good. There are no garbage cans. Excellent, Vanessa. Select the person. They give the solution. Um, Eric Ramirez. Okay. Uh, the solution is create Areas to put more garbage cans. Good, Eric. Excellent. Select the next person, Eric. Uh, Monica Escobar. Okay, Monica. What is the problem? There is not much. Guara. Repeat, Monica. In my city, there is not much water in my city. Okay. There isn't much water in your city. Excellent, Monica. Who is the person? Who is the other person to give the solution? Lisette Castillo. Lisette Castillo. Okay.
you should be self water. Repeat this set. You should be save water. Ah, uh, no be, no be. You should save, you should save water. You should save water. Excellent, he said. All right. So, you see, this is how we use should, have, be. This is how we give problems and solutions. So, now with our partner, what are we going to do? Now we're going to say which one is the correct form, which is correct. Too many, aren't enough, aren't many, more, fewer, enough. With our partner, we need to complete the 2.5, okay? So with our partner, 2.5, we are going to complete with the correct form. Okay, teacher. All right, let's go. Three minutes, three minutes. Okay, let's take a look. Ready? Wendy, what is number one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Don't know what happened with Wendy. Go ahead. There aren't enough police officers 
officer in my city. Okay. Sorry, I I have problem with internet. No problem, Wendy. It's okay. It happens <laughs> sometimes. No problem. Okay. Number two. Who's number two? Is more highways. More highways. Okay. Number three. There is too much pollution in my city. Okay. And number four. Less noise. Less noise. And the last one, number five. More. Uh, needs to build more highways. Oops. More. More. Ah, excellent. The answer is more correct. Less noise, perfect. Too much pollution, more highways, and aren't enough police officers in my city. It's okay? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So tomorrow we are going to prepare. Let me put in there, okay. A 30 second presentation, 30 second speaking, not necessary, not necessary PowerPoint, not necessary word, no document, only prepare speaking 30 seconds. 30 seconds, you are going to explain, okay, your problem for you, okay, and a solution. The problem can be in your neighborhood, can be in your job, the problem can be in your house. The problem can be for El Salvador, okay? The important is explain a problem and give a solution, okay? So in El Salvador, the problem, the people are too poor. The solution, I need to explain the solution. Uh, I, we need to, we should have more jobs. We need to create more opportunities, there should be better salary, oh, whatever. But you speak for 30 seconds, not 28, not 29, minimum 30 seconds. 30 seconds speaking. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Teacher, I can't say how to say this and I can't say how to say the solution. Google. That's why we have Google. You have 24 hours. 24 hours to prepare for 30 seconds. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Now we're going to have the opportunity to practice those things. Okay. So let's review a little bit. What is the difference between countable and uncountable? Countable, uncountable. What is the difference? What is the difference? Use the many in mesh. Okay. When is many with? Many countable? for countable nouns and mesh for uncountable nouns. Okay, very good. Thank you. And Angelica, what are some examples of uncountable nouns? For non-countable nouns, we have water, oxygen, gasoline, beans, sugar. Excellent. Very good. Those are our uncountable because only one form, right? We can use more, right? Or we can use less. If you use less, also we can use fewer. Okay. No questions? Excellent. Let's read the topic for tomorrow before we finish. So tomorrow, let's read the topic. Kevin, can you please read what is the objective for tomorrow? 
your fish. Learn how to ask and answer indirect questions in English. In this lesson, practice using indirect questions by discussing a series or new destinations. Be done and on this class, you will be able to form polite indirect questions, such as could you tell we, me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest and the end is? Can you tell, tell me how often the bus is from? Do you know where I can catch the bus? This lesson will help you seek information using polite grammatical correct English. Okay. So tomorrow we practice asking and answering indirect questions. Today we finish countable, uncountable. Tomorrow we prepare the presentation and then begin the new topic. It's okay? Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, teacher. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for practicing and trying. It's difficult some days, but we practice, <laughs> practice, practice. And we get better, okay? Okay. Okay, okay guys. You, Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good, Good night. night. You. Good night, Bye -bye. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.